In this video, we will take a look at the slides of trachea. The slide is stained with hematoxin eosine, that means the nuclei of these cells are violet and the cytoplasm is pink. The wall of trachea consists of the um, mucosa, it's here, hyaline cartilage, here, and adventitia, the last part of the wall. So we will take a look closely uh, to the mucosa. Uh, the lumen of trachea is uh, lining uh, with uh, pseudostratified uh, ciliated columnar epithelium is here. So, uh, uh, a few layers uh, of uh, nuclei and uh, the uh, surface uh, cells uh, has, have a columnar shape and uh, between uh, the, uh, the epithelium you can find uh, goblet cells. Uh, the goblet cells uh, are uh, light uh, filled with uh, the mucose. The basal membrane of this epithelium is uh, distinct, uh, very, very thick. Uh, this is the uh, light line which form the border between uh, epithelial cells and uh, underlining connective tissue and in, uh, in trachea the basal membrane it's uh, very uh, very uh, thick so this is the epithelium under the epithelium here it's a lamina propria. Uh, lamina propria uh, contains uh, collagen fibers, uh, type 1, uh, fibroblast, blood vessels, uh, nerves. Uh, sometimes it's uh, visible uh, diffuse uh, lymphatic tissue and uh, elastic uh, fibers. It's uh, located uh, uh, below the you know, serum mucose gland. So here it's a, a located uh, serum mucose gland. For example, uh, the light cells are mucose cells filled uh, with the mucose and uh, their uh, nuclei is, uh, are flattened and uh, located in the basal compartment of the cells. So here is a, a mucose uh, mucose gland, mucose cells, and uh, another uh, type of cells is a serous cells. Serous cells have uh, round nuclei, and uh, their cytoplasm contains um, zymogenic uh, basophilic granules. So this is the dark cells of serum mucose glands. They are ducked, uh, for example, here. It's uh, lining with uh, one or two layers of cuboidal cells, and the ducts uh, pass through the lamina propria and continue to the tracheal uh, lumen. So, this is uh, the lamina propria, and uh, here it's located the uh, hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage uh, have, um, has a uh, perichondrium. The perichondrium uh, has uh, two layers. The first is fibrogenic uh, uh, layer, and here is a chondrogenic layer. In the fibrogenic layer, uh, it's, you, you can find uh, vessels, blood vessels, uh, nerves. Uh, fibrocytes, fibroblast, but in the chondrogenic layer you can find chondroblasts. In the hyaline matrix uh, it uh, contains the isogenic chondrocytes uh, in the lacoon uh, and between the chondrocytes it's a, a hyaline matrix uh, with, uh, with collagen fiber type 2 and uh, proteoglycans, glycoproteins, uh, 
uh, which uh, binding uh, a lot of uh, water. So the perichondrium uh, is uh, in the side uh, with uh, connected with lamina propria and uh, in the uh, other side uh, with uh, connected with uh, adventitia. The adventitia is also a connective tissue uh, with collagen fibers, uh, blood vessels, nerves. So uh, the trachea is composed of the uh, mucosa, helen cartilage and adventitia. Uh, the mucosa is uh, covered uh, by a pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cells. In uh, the lamina propria, uh, it's a uh, uh, mucose gland and uh, connective tissue. Hyaline cartilage uh, has uh, a perichondrium uh, and uh, su surrounded uh, by uh, the hyaline matrix and adventitia. So, thank you very much.